On December 17th, 2016, Elon Musk tweeted that he was sick of the traffic in Los Angeles and that he was going to build a tunnel boring machine and just start digging. To make it clear that he wasn't joking, he followed it up with another tweet a few hours later, adding, I am actually going to do this. And yes, a subsequent update to his Twitter bio that added, tunnels, yes, tunnels. And thus, we had the birth of the boring company. Within days of his tweeting about tunnel boring, he had acquired the domain name www.boringcompany.com and appointed a leader for the project, Steve Davis, a senior SpaceX engineer who had previously designed the guidance systems for SpaceX's first rocket. The plan? To solve the problem of soul-destroying traffic by digging a ton of safe, fast-to-dig, low-cost, zero-emissions transportation tunnels to alleviate traffic congestion. The tunnels, termed loops, would have a minimum depth of 30 feet underground and provide high-speed, all-electric, underground public transportation in which passengers are transported in autonomous electric vehicles at speeds up to 150 miles per hour. The loop will use tunnels, elevators, and ramps to connect autonomous EVs equipped with retractable wheels to three different types of stations, surface stations, subsurface stations, and open air stations. And how will the Boring Company do it? Well, that would be figured out along the way. Thus, on a Friday afternoon in January 2017, barely 30 days from Elon Musk's tunnel tweet in December, the Boring Company, or TBC, started digging its first tunnel in the parking lot of SpaceX's office in Hawthorne, California. Elon Musk would later comment about the weekend dig. I was like, hey, what's the biggest hole we can make by Sunday evening? This wasn't the first time Musk had seriously considered tunnels as a viable transportation option. In 2013, Musk introduced Hyperloop to the world, which is an ultra-high-speed underground inner-city public transportation system in which passengers are transported at more than 600 miles per hour within a vacuum-sealed tunnel. This new idea, however, was quite different. And in January 2016, at the Hyperloop Pod Awards ceremony at Texas A&M, Musk would give a small glimpse of where his mind was heading. This is um, really a very simple and obvious idea, and I wish people would do it, which is uh, build more tunnels. Um, <laughs> Tunnels, tunnels are great. <laughs> it's just a hole in the ground. It's not that hard. <laughs> but if you have tunnels in cities, you would, you would massively alleviate congestion. Um, and you could have tunnels at all different levels. You could probably have you know, 30 layers of tunnels and, um, and completely fix the congestion problem in high density cities. Hit the subscribe button if you find our content interesting and want to keep learning about the trailblazers in our world and what makes them tick. Leave a comment below to let us know you subscribed. Building tunnels has been around for quite some time now. In fact, tunnel technology is older than rockets, and many of us have been on a subway or some form of underground transportation. So what's different about The Boring Company? And what problems is it trying to solve? So, so what's the problem with tunnels? They're, they usually take a very long time to build, and they're very expensive. So typically a, a, a tunnel will take three to six months per mile. Um, in some cases it will take a year per mile. And, and they can cost up to a billion dollars per mile. As Musk pointed out, the first problem is that tunnels are traditionally very expensive to dig, with many projects costing between $100 million and $1 billion per mile. TBC's loop tunnels are currently priced at approximately $10 million per mile, which is at least 10 times cheaper than traditional technologies. TBC has been able to vastly reduce tunneling costs by becoming vertically integrated and producing its own boring machines. Electric construction vehicles and precast concrete lining, TBC has also standardized and reduced tunnel diameters so that project costs are repeatable and predictable across the enterprise. The boring company uses the excavated dirt to build the tunnel's reinforcing segments on site, and any leftovers are then either turned into bricks to be sold or donated for affordable housing. Traditionally, this dirt would need to be transported off-site to be dumped, a cost which typically makes up 15% of tunneling costs. Lastly, 
TBC uses all-electric tunneling equipment, resulting in a cleaner tunnel with simpler ventilation requirements and no fuel costs. A second reason why the Boring Company is revolutionary is that tunnels traditionally take a long time to build. A typical tunneling boring machine takes about 8 to 12 weeks to dig a mile-long tunnel, which TBC points out is approximately 14 times slower than a garden snail. However, Elon Musk's Boring Company has been able to build tunnel boring machines, they call them TBMs, that include the Godot, the Line Storm, and the Proof Rock, that have been designed to dig a mile in a single week. Using one of the TBMs, termed the Proof Rock, the TBM can arrive on site and begin mining within 48 hours due to the ability to surface launch and avoid the excavation of a TBM retrieval pit. Elon Musk, somewhat jokingly, stated that one of the chief goals of the Boring Company is something that doesn't sound like it should be too hard, but it turns out that it is in the tunnel digging world. This is our goal, we must be faster than a snail. Currently, the Boring Company has five product lines, the first of which is the Bear Tunnel, which is basically an empty 12-foot inner diameter tunnel. What is it used for? For whatever you want. On the website, TBC says, we build the tunnel, you put what you want in it. The second product being offered by the Boring Company is known as the Utility Tunnel. As the name suggests, it provides convenient access to multiple utilities without surface disruption. The third product being offered by the Boring Company is the Pedestrian Tunnel, which is described as a safe and fun way for pedestrians and cyclists to avoid surface road traffic. The fourth product is the Freight Tunnel that can be used to move freight underground and can fit standard shipping containers. Last of all, we have the product line that has garnered the most press, the Loop Tunnel, which TBC claims will solve the problem of traffic by providing safe, underground, intracity passage to vehicles and passengers. The Boring Company's first tunnel was the 1.14 mile loop system, R&D test tunnel in Hawthorne, California at SpaceX's headquarters. It is currently used for research and development of the Boring Company's public transportation system. This test tunnel showcases the station loading capabilities of the loop system. This tunnel costs approximately $10 million to complete and understandably, TBC is quite proud of that achievement and views it as critical proof of concept for the technology. So don't, normally it, it, the tunnels cost, like I said, on, uh, up to a billion dollars. So like a, a, a discount tunnel would be sort of $200 million, but we're able to build this tunnel for about $10 million. So. The second tunnel, which is nearly complete, is called the Las Vegas Convention Center Loop in Las Vegas, Nevada. It is being built for the Las Vegas Convention Center, which hosts the massive consumer electronics show every year. A walk from one end of the convention center to the other usually takes 15 minutes. However, with the loop in place, travelers will be able to ride a Tesla Model 3, Model Y, or some other modified Tesla, and the journey will be reduced to only one minute. The cost to build the LVCC loop tunnel was an estimated $52 million, and it was completed at the end of January 2021. It's expected that the LVCC loop will soon be able to transport as many as 1,200 passengers per hour once it is fully operational. The Boring Company is also in talks for at least three more projects, one in Los Angeles termed the Dugout Loop, which will transport baseball fans and concert goers 3.6 miles in four minutes directly to Dodger Stadium. Another term, the Washington DC to Baltimore Loop Tunnel Project that would connect Washington DC to Baltimore with a 34 mile loop and a final 18 mile project in Chicago coined the Chicago O'Hare Express System that would reduce passenger travel time between Chicago's O'Hare International Airport to the Chicago Central Business District from 45 minutes to just 12 minutes. For now, it seems that the biggest challenge that the Boring Company faces is not that of technology, Instead, it is proving the loop concept and diverting overhead traffic to underground tunnels at a massive scale. While the Boring Company has made significant progress, it will still take a few years and a few successful projects before authorities and decision makers around the world can consider the development of the tunnels underneath the major cities. What are your thoughts about the Boring Company that is not so boring after all? Let us know by leaving a comment below. Also, like the video to show your support. Lastly, make sure to subscribe to the channel and to press the bell icon as well so that you can watch our future videos as they get released. We'll see you guys in the next one.